Here you can see my Weiniger Eel sculptures on July 28th, 2023. I keep them on a shelf under my aquariums away from direct sunlight. Here you can see the same cultures about one month later, on September 2nd. I take some vinegar eels from each culture every month for feeding newborn fish. In my previous videos I shared with you three different ways of harvesting vinegar eels and how to set up and take care of them. Let me give you a close-up view on vinegar eels. Vinegar eels are 1-2 mm long nematodes. Perfect feeding size for baby fish. This time I want to check if vinegar eel sculptures can sustain on one feeding for one season. I add slices of fresh apple into each of my well-established many months old cultures. And I skip adding water this time. It takes more than a year for water level to drop significantly. I cover bottles with polyester foam to allow air circulation. All is set and ready on September 2, 2023. December 23, 2023. I did not touch these wine grill sculptures for about 3 months. All cultures are going strong. I don't harvest wine grills from these sculptures for the sake of the experiment. Let's feed wine grills with slices of fresh apple. The water level dropped about 1 cm in all bottles during past 3 months. Let's add declarinated tap water to the level. I'm going to check on these cultures next spring. March 6, 2023. All vinegar cultures are alive and going without me doing anything at all. The larger bottles with more apple slices and more water volume have larger population of vinegar eels. You can see clusters of vinegar eels above water level in large bottles. So, one feeding of apple slice in 3 months works well for vinegar eels. All vinegar eels culture sustained well through the experiment. It's time for a new experiment. Forming vinegar eels in large quantities. I'm going to set up new vinegar eel sculptures in 16 oz plastic containers. The 16 oz plastic containers can be put in stacks of four on top of each other. That is big time space saving for culturing live food. I've been culturing grindle worms, springtails, and isopods in similar containers for feeding my pets. Recently I got a breeding family of least killfish, the smallest fish living in North America. Wine grills seem to be perfectly sizable food for my least killfish. We'll keep you updated. Have fun and happy fish!